guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me chit chat video. I already have my face makeup on, so foundation, primer, etc, etc. That's already on my face already. I'm just going to focus on the eye look for today. So the palette I'm going to be using was sent to me through PR. This is not a sponsored video. I don't get paid for anything that you click. Nothing. This is the Temptress palette from Alter Ego Cosmetics, and this is what she looks like. This is my first time using it. I have not used it yet, so I'm very excited to see how it works. Of course, I'll be honest with you guys towards the end about the review, my first impression on the palette. If I like it, if I don't, if I suggest it, if I don't, you guys will know the truth either way at the end. We have warm tones, cool tones, a really pretty blush shade right here. So you can do a lot of different looks with this palette. So I'm going to see if I can do like a really neutral look. I'm not doing anything extreme extravagant because I'm just running errands for the day. I have some things to pick up before tomorrow. I'm starting something major tomorrow, so I want to make sure I have all my supplies and everything for that. So yeah, that's all I'm doing is doing some shopping for today. What else is new for me, honestly? So if you are interested in the palette, if you like what you see, all the links and everything will be linked down below. So the first shade I'm going to go into with a fluffy brush is the shade Lust, which is right here. So obviously, the topic of today's video it has been the topic of everyone's video over the last few days. We're going to talk about James Charles Tati. More people have gotten involved, such as Gabriel Zamora and Nikita Dragon as of last night, but also Jeffree Star. So we're going to discuss everything in today's video. Because this has become such a widespread story that everyone's been talking about, I mean, literally worldwide, I've seen people from different countries posting screenshots and everything of their local news in their countries or whatever um, talking about the situation. It's become that big of a deal. Because of that, um, we have a lot of people um, with different opinions and different viewpoints and things like that. And unfortunately, we've also seen um, some people who are just, I don't know what to call them, sick, I guess, um, fabricating stories um, about James trying to get their 15 minutes of fame um, on the internet to be involved in something like this. I don't know why you would want to be involved in something like this, it's pretty sad, um, but there have been people who have made up stories. As a matter of fact, there was one story when this whole thing first happened that was fabricated by someone who who said they went to high school with James um, and there was some sort of issue with a mutual friend between that person and James that James had come on to him allegedly. It, it was later exposed this whole story was fake by the person who first said the story. So, I mean, it just, there's so much bullshit coming out of the woodworks. So take everything you see and everything you hear with a grain of salt, you know what I mean? Just, just to be safe. But we've also seen more recently um, other YouTube channels such as PewDiePie. Um, he uploaded a video the other day talking about the situation. And in his video, he pretty much tried to make this whole fallout between Tati and James about the vitamins and what he had done to Tati and her business when he took up a little partnership with Sugar Bear Hair, which he claims which was strictly because they helped him with security during weekend one of Coachella. We all know now, according to Nikita Dragon's uh, recent tweets and screenshots that were uploaded to Twitter, that may be false, or it was proven to be false by the friend who was trying to help him, but I'll get to that in a minute. But watching him try to dumb down everything and dumb down the reason, the real reason, why James is being called out and canceled by millions of people now. I'm pretty sure as of right now, at the time of me filming this video, he has lost over 3 million subscribers, which puts him at the most unsubscribed to channel in YouTube history, I think, or something like that. His video was so poorly researched, and it was so unfortunate to watch someone with that much of an influence. I mean, he's got 95, 96 million subscribers. To watch someone with that much of a reach to that many people do such a, a poorly researched video and put out this narrative that doesn't even make sense in the grand scheme of things because it really isn't even about vitamins anymore, which is what he was trying to make it about in his video. This is about everything else that has come forward because of what she had mentioned and because of the vitamins, you know what I mean? Like, yes, this all started with what happened between Sugar Bear Hair and James and what you know, Tati felt about it. Yes, it started with that, but now it's become so much more. 
Now, to make matters even worse, Gabriel's Mora went on his Snapchat rant the other night. I'm sure everyone's seen it. But in his Snapchat rant, he says, everyone needs to go watch PewDiePie's video because it's 100% fact. Even though in PewDiePie's video, it's mentioned that he doesn't know everything and that he should have done more research or that he should do more research because he doesn't know everything. So how can someone who doesn't know everything, self-admittedly does not know everything, who needs to do more research, how can what he says be taken as 100% fact when it's not fact and it's been admitted that it's not fact by the person that you are saying is factual? How does that make sense? So I'm gonna go in next into the shade Uptown. I'm gonna place that into the crease to darken up everything. And then after that, I'm gonna use the shade After Hours in the outside corner of the eye to darken up the outside corner. Watching um, Gabriel tell his subscribers to go and watch um, PewDiePie's video was, it was pretty annoying because the only reason that Gabriel promoted PewDiePie's video was because it fit the narrative. His opinion and his viewpoints fit Gabriel's narrative. And that narrative is to stick to his guns because he started this whole thing by calling out Tati by name and trying to start shit and involving himself where he didn't need to involve himself once again. So now he's trying to grasp at straws. Granted, they're very, very short straws and uh, they're not straws that he's gonna be able to grasp for very much longer. Um, but he's trying to grasp at straws to make himself the person who was right in the situation, even though it's very clear he is completely wrong in the situation. He had no reason to call out Tati by name. There was no reason for him to get involved in this whatsoever. But here we are again for a second year in a row with him putting himself as the one starting shit with people. Why is it that he's always the one starting shit with people? Now let's go a little bit further into this because now, besides Gabriel inserting himself into this, we have now Nikita Dragon. Now Nikita involved herself last night, it was late last night. Um, she posted a screenshot of the alleged conversation between her and James first, in which he asked her for Sugar Bear Hair's uh, help with security. Um, and then there was also a screenshot of Sugar Bear Hair and Nikita, and I think Gabriel was involved in there somewhere. It was a chat, uh, a group chat, that was also posted between Gabriel, um, Nikita, and Sugar Bear Hair. Um, now the problem with these screenshots, um, Nikita thought, she really thought that she had something with these screenshots because she posted on the Twitter this. She really thought that she was going to clarify things, but she only made things 10 times more worse, if not that, 100 times more worse than what they previously were for James because number one these screenshots the dates don't add up to James's story because according to James let me go ahead and put this eyeshadow in before I talk for another 10 hours with no makeup on according to James and his original statement on what had happened James had gotten help from Sugar Bear Hair for the first week of Coachella but the screenshots that Nikita had posted a Twitter in which she thought she really had something to cancel everyone talking about James or talking against Gabriel for speaking up. In those screenshots, the dates are for August 20th, which would have made it actually Coachella week two. Keep in mind that the only weekend that James originally planned on going to, as we saw um, stated from his various tweets and various um, Snapchat rants and everything, the only weekend he planned on going to was weekend one. Weekend 2 was up in the air and that was the last minute decision to go to Weekend 2. Now we bring in these screenshots, they are dated for Weekend 2, which was April 20th. The 22nd is when he posted that Snapchat ad for Sugar Bear Hair, which means that if he had truly gone to Weekend 2 and he posted the ad on the 22nd, he had only been using those vitamins for only two days. I'm gonna use the shade Guilt all over the lid and I'm gonna go into the shade Ritz as well and mix those two and put them all over the lid. Now to make matters worse, um, it's irresponsible. Not only is it irresponsible, but it is so bad to see that James doesn't give a shit about his audience, his impressionable audience, because his audience, their age range is very young. So everything and anything that he does or uses or suggests to them 
more than likely they're going to go out and purchase it because they believe what he says. They trust his opinion. They trust what he says about products, right? That is why he is one of, or he was one of the biggest influencers in the beauty community as far as YouTube and elsewhere as well. So with that being said, it is irresponsible to sit there and make all these false claims about a product that you've only been using for number one, for two days and not a week. Regardless of it being a week or two days, even still, after a week of using a product, you're not gonna see those kind of changes with a sleeping pill. To have the audacity, the gall to sit there online and say, these vitamins have been helping me with my anxiety. That's disgusting. That is, that is so wrong for so many reasons, but for money, he'll do anything, right? So this is all I'm gonna do for my makeup for today. I'm gonna put some balm on, no lipstick or anything. But um, as far as the palette, I like it. It worked pretty nicely. Everything blended really nicely, very easily. I'm gonna do a couple swatches for you guys so you can see. Um, I especially love how creamy the metallic shades are and they are metallic. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch of a matte for you guys, a shade Lust that I used originally for the crease area. That's what she looks like. No primer, nothing on my hands. And then I'll do one metallic. We can do the shade Guilt, which is the one we used all over the lid. There she is there. And here's the swatch. As you can see, it's super reflective, very pigmented. I loved how easy things work together. They blend together very nicely. So um, this is only my first impression, obviously. I'm not going to sit here and say it's amazing and everyone needs it. But um, I will say that it worked well. It worked very nicely. I like the color selection we have in here. Um, so I'll have a link down below for you guys if you're interested in it. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, the vitamins, that's just the tip of the iceberg. So much more has come from it. And so many other people have come forward talking about things Zara Larson most notably she posted this tweet and there are still people coming forward but like I'm like I said earlier you have to take things with a grain of salt until they are proven to be absolutely 100% true to finish off with Gabriel and Nikita I don't really know what Nikita thought she was gonna do when she released those screenshots but I can tell you what she did do uh, she made herself look even more like a clown than she has previously in especially last year's situation which she got away with unscathed her and Gabriel both did um, and the only reason why Gabriel made it out unscathed is because he made himself to look like the hero and everything there was no reason for his involvement nor was there any reason for Nikita's because their involvement has only made things worse for James I don't know if they meant to but in doing what they've done they've inadvertently kind of backed up Tati in a weird sort of way because of what they have posted and what they've said and they've made James look so much worse so if I were James I'd be on the phone saying can you both just shut the fuck up now the third person I wanted to discuss and the last person I wanted to discuss um, in today's video and the third repeat uh, character from last year's situation coming into this year's situation is of course Jeffree Star. Now his involvement is a little weird for me. The reason being is because I don't support Jeffree. I don't like him. If you've been here for a while you guys know that and you know why. We'll get into that. It's a whole other video. Um, but when he posted these tweets for some reason i felt like things were taken to a new level because someone like jeffrey who is familiar with defamation and slander i find it very hard to believe that he would say something like what he said and the fact that he called out like straight up called james a predator not only that, but also a danger to society. I don't think someone like Jeffrey would go out and say something like that so publicly if he did not know something or if it wasn't true. For some reason, I can't help but feel like Jeffrey knows something, which also brings in the argument of, okay, well, these people were complicit with his behavior until it went against them. And honestly, I can understand that argument. I can, because let's be honest, they were complicit. But how do we know that they weren't trying to keep things quiet and solve things behind the scenes? You know what I mean? I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm just trying to give 
I guess play the devil's advocate and give these people the benefit of the doubt because we don't know what Tati or Jeffrey were trying to do behind the scenes if they were trying to do anything. Obviously Tati said in her video that she tried to talk to James multiple times about his behavior towards heterosexual men who are not interested in relationships with another man. So in the last 48 hours we saw the waiter from Seattle. This person made a video and the kid came with his receipts. He came with the receipts. Now, the most damning was the screen recording, which obviously was the reason why he had to delete the video in the first place, but everyone's already seen it. Um, there was a screen recording in the original video, um, and it was of James on this kid's phone on the screen, and it's this kid um, talking to him and asking him, you know, were you talking to Gage, which is the other kid who came forward um, about James, were you talking to Gage the same time you're talking to me? And James says, yes, I was. Um, so how you feel about it is how you feel about it. But to me, that's pretty damning. Now you add that on top of Jeffree Star straight up calling him a predator online, in public, in front of millions of people, which I don't think he would have done had he not known something. And Add on top of that the fact that he also alluded to a situation that had allegedly happened between James and someone in Jeffrey's house or Jeffrey's family or extended family. Something happened between those two. Which leads me to believe that we are not going to see the end of this for a while. I think there's more that's going to come out. And I think it has to do with Jeffrey and Nathan or maybe even just Nathan because as we all know Nathan has been open about how he's very open in his sexuality um, he likes girls and guys um, and as a matter of fact he had dated a girl prior to Jeffrey I think it was um, so Nathan has been very open about his sexuality um, but I think allegedly this is my little theory something happened between James and Nathan but that's just me can I just give a quick shout out to Tati real quick on how eloquently she did that video and how well she spoke and just that level of class is what I aspire to be in the future can I just say that and how she clapped the fuck back at his mother by name said come collect your fucking kids take care of your kids be a parent oh I'm sure their entire bloodline of ancestors and everyone felt that clap back, but that's what they deserve. I've said it before and I'll say it again, everyone reaches their point and Tati reached her point when Gabriel called her out by name. Gabriel pushed her to that point. And in regards to what has happened and what's being brought up against James and everything, it's not like this is the first time we've heard uh, James be open about how he has a thing for straight men and it's gotten to the point where even Shane Dawson said to him in front of millions of people and I mean millions of people told James to quit his shit pretty much and said to change targets because it's not going to work out for him in the long run. So the argument about you know these people being complicit does it hold weight to me? I, not really. Because we don't know that Tati hasn't tried for months and months and months to try to stop James and try to derail that thought process and try to have him go somewhere else as far as, you know, who he's attracted to. If he's attracted to straight men, it is what it is. It's how you act on those feelings is what matters. And obviously, he's been acting on these feelings for quite a while and it's become a problem. So that is the biggest issue that we are now seeing um, brought up with the situation. And like I said, it, it, it'd be one thing if this was the first time we've ever heard about James having these kind of issues. But when you have people like Shane Dawson calling him out for it, we now have Jeffree Star calling him a predator, saying that he's a danger to society because of what he does. That holds weight. You may not like these people, you know, I really don't in some cases, but what they're saying means something because these people would not be saying things like this online in front of millions of people if they one didn't know something or two didn't have experience with him themselves something happened and i don't think this is the last we're going to hear about this i think we have so much more to get into i think we're going to see more people coming out with screenshots i think jeffrey i think he is the number one person people are waiting to hear from because just his tweet alone um it alluded to something happening between James and someone in Jeffrey's house that got him banned from their house back in February. So 
I don't know guys what do you guys think about everything leave your comments down below leave your views down below do you guys think Jeffrey's gonna talk anything more about what's happened do you guys think this is the end of James Charles leave it on down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video love you guys so so much